okay hi guys so i will be doing a financial reading so i'm gonna see what's been affecting your money okay what's been blocking your money i feel to do it from pisces to aries as opposed to aries to pisces yeah okay i'm gonna do it <clears throat> all right so they'd come up straight away so what's affecting your money pisces so it could be love that's affecting your money could be wanting to go towards somebody and offer your love rather than focus on what's going on in your yeah knight of cups seven of swords cage of cups is like it's like all that you're focused on is love at the moment pisces and you're just kind of like part of you knows that you need to put your energy into yourself into your passion your career your work whatever it is yeah like but it's like you guys you're you're you guys are love you know it's hard for you not to um there's it's like you're trying to it's like just so many cups it's like be like you're either showering somebody with love or vice versa you know it's like love whatever whatever it is guys i feel like love is blocking your or you're allowing it to you're not balancing things out i feel like some of you guys aren't balancing things out yeah which you've been fighting it's, it's been it's been a bit of a challenge for you guys to um stay stable and grounded um whilst you are in relationships some of you do find it difficult because as a pisces you guys we um, and Pisces to Pisces Sun. Um, it's like we we want love. We we know how to love, um, but at the same time, it's like trying to balance out a, a healthy um, relationship with a career can be challenging for you guys. So I feel like you know if you are in a relationship that is very stable, that person that you're with will fully understand and respect and support you whilst you do things like to benefit yourself when it comes to money yeah so and you will know that this person is for you if they are supportive if they are like yeah babes like absolutely it's time for you to shine it's time for you to do your thing and don't worry about me i'm here you know like our relationship is strong you know i want you to do the things that you're supposed to do in this life to succeed yeah um so it can be a battle that you have with yourself you could what you guys need to realize is that the only competition that you guys have is yourselves so don't compare yourselves to anybody okay you only compare yourself to the old version of you yeah so um yeah you guys definitely need to um take a step back and not overly focus your energy in relationships i'm not saying that don't care about them but you have to balance it you have to know that that person is there and if that person is truly for you they will be happy for you when you do start your new career path your new um your new job you know whatever your new business they'll be supportive okay and if this person is not then you know this person is not for you they, they could be jealous insecure they could be um trying to hold you down in some kind of way and if that isn't i've answered quite a few things for you in this financial reading you know what's blocking you financially and it is not so much their love it's how you it, no one has control over your emotions apart from you so if it is a thing where you need to be more grounded definitely meditate go into the virgo energy you know go into hermit mode and take the time to analyze things and to to really understand what is good for you yeah listen to your intuition okay all right guys so pisces so i'm going to do aquarius we're going backwards now we're going backwards so be from pisces to aries okay all right that come up so the magician card so aquarius is so maybe you guys are manifesting like it's like you're kind of giving everything you've got, but maybe you're not seeing any results. Maybe you're in the wrong, maybe you guys are in the wrong um, 
field of work that's just come out again seven of cups seven of swords yeah yeah i feel like maybe you're going around trying to get your money in a way that is not good for your soul it's almost like you're selling your soul is what i'm getting by by not listening to your intuition by going against things say like there's a contract right say like you're your artist and you go into a contract and you're quite a spiritual person you're quite a positive person and you know that your words your voice can heal okay aquarius you see this contract and you see that you've got to use certain words you've got to um do all these things that just doesn't resonate with your soul and you sign that contract it's like you're giving your soul away um for money yeah for abundance okay so that's the way you can say sell your soul contracts that you don't agree with that are not good for you so like i said you guys you know working hard on something yeah that's mastering your craft yeah eight of uh pentacles that's like being very skillful like uh, mastering your skills it's like staying late um everyone's gone home and you're the only one there working you're really good at what you do you know but something there's something that's calling you something else that's calling you guys being called, called don't all right so what i can say is with that um aquarius is speak up on the things that make you happy don't sit in silence and be like okay well this is the way life is this is how this contract is if you're not happy with it speak up don't wait until you're like halfway through the contract or like a month into the contract and say the contract's five years and you signed away your soul for five years or more because you'll accumulate karma okay so and you're and you're like oh well it's too late well you should have spoken up before you signed the contract on no one else but yourself okay so it's so important to speak up when it's necessary don't stay in your head air signs you guys are really well known for being in your head and it it, it can be it can work to your advantage at times sometimes it can really be the be uh detrimental to 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 you to your life to you know the way that you feel the way that people see you the way that you respond to things because you know that you're not happy within yourself because you have chosen you have allowed someone else to write out your future that person that contract is you know like when you're manifesting things guys you know you have your journal and you're writing things down that you want that's like the same as a contract so so you know say you're a rapper and, and you don't like to use the n-word or you don't like to use certain things or violence and you just want to promote like love and light and, and and peace and all that stuff and they want you to sing about certain rap or sing about certain things that does not resonate with your soul be careful of that and it doesn't have to be that i'm using that as, as an i'm using that as an example guys so you know what you guys do everyone's different but be mindful of of what's put in front of you and know to deal with it as it is not like a year later 10 years later deal with it now yeah don't worry about um, hurting people, offending people, feeling like you're not being a, a team player. Yeah, because some people really will use you like that. So be mindful. Please be mindful. Please be mindful. Um, okay. Do you know what? Yeah, that's enough. Because that was quite a long so, um, Capricorns. Capricorns. What's financially blocking capricorns okay so we've got the strength card and we've got the star card so it's like some of you guys don't feel strong enough you don't feel like you deserve the limelight you don't feel like you deserve to be acknowledged appreciated some of you guys are just like almost it's like how i'm seeing it is like that's potential and she's just throwing it out she's just getting rid of it because of the courage is like your courage to um approach certain things to accept certain um um opportunities that come your way is blocking you is blocking you financially so definitely be, be courageous 
be like the light you know embody that um light of that leo i say lion energy but yeah lion energy as well leo energy you could embody that a little bit uh, quite a bit well that just that fire energy you know that um that that you need that courage believe that you are more than good enough you guys you guys like obviously capricorn a lot of people see that as like the money you know earth that's like money stability grounded all, all that stuff yeah um but whew, i think at the moment not always but at the moment this is what's blocking you is your courage is like or the lack of okay so lack of courage but you guys are supposed to be a star you're supposed to do big things you are supposed to speak do things on a wide scale you're not supposed to stay in your self nodes where you know you you understand those things you're familiar with certain things but you're not moving forward you're not taking the risks that you need to be taking and um, just believe in yourselves you just really daily affirmations guys okay so remind yourself you know i am beautiful i am smart i'm handsome i am this i'm that i'm you know i'm i attract money i'm a money magnet yeah I'm appreciated, I'm appreciated, I'm loved, you know, I'm caring, I'm loyal, I'm faithful, I work hard, I, you know, I stick to things, keep telling yourself things like that Capricorn, okay, can you guys even see that, sorry, I didn't even realise, Capricorns, what else is blocking Capricorns financially? you're blocked off you've you shut down so if you're shut down you're fed up with something some of you don't want to come out the house some of you don't want to speak to people yeah oh my god some of you guarded yeah feeling like something's always going to happen something like you do something be like oh that's not going to work that's you know this always um ends up wrong you know i feel bound why do i feel stuck why do i feel like i can't move on why can't i see things why do i why do things keep on happening to me that's your mindset and that's why you need to believe in yourself and say do you know what like we all have negative um thoughts okay guys very natural but it's what you do with that so you have a negative thought right so have that negative thought okay no that's not what i truly feel that is the old me N now today you tell yourself so you what you do daily affirmations what that does is it, it heals your inner child okay that's the purpose of it okay i know they say it's like everyone's different not everyone understands it because you might see quick quick clips of videos saying about daily affirmations some of you are new to this way of life you know the spiritual path and stuff spiritual awakening and you're like oh like it's a bit it's a bit too much i don't know where to start okay guys so daily affirmations that is you as your present self healing your inner child okay so constantly speak to your inner child to remind them to encourage them to uplift them to motivate them to remind them how great they are because i promise you if you guys have children you guys obviously if you're like high vibrational and you know supportive which hopefully a lot of you are um you'll be telling your child this so don't you think you deserve the same hmm? you don't think you deserve the same capricorns I think you do so you also need to remind yourself not just your children and say do you know what i've lived my life this has happened blah blah no you keep living your life you keep nurturing that inner child of yours okay and you keep telling them that they're amazing they're loved uh, you're forgiven i forgive them all those things okay let go move on be amazing be amazing forgive yourself let go of the guilt let go of the hurt let go don't hold on to it because it will drag you down like an anchor it will drag you down so let go believe that amazing things can happen for you that they will happen to you okay all right capricorns believe in yourselves okay you guys are great okay you're made for greatness be great spread those wings be great okay love you capricorns so um okay so sagittarius in, I like going backwards. This is interesting. I like it. I like it. So, what is blocking Sagittarius's financially? What is blocking Sagittarius's financially? Oh, 
oh that one wanted to come up so it's like okay so the eight the seven yeah eight of pentacles has come out so you guys are definitely working on something maybe you're too fixated on something that could be the case let's see okay king of swords so you guys are okay so you guys are working hard all right so ooh, oh guys okay sagittarius interesting so eight of pentacles king of swords okay so some of you guys are really working on being the like the ceo the boss yeah you guys are working on being the boss you're very fixated it's taking a long journey i feel like you guys it's not so much of what's blocking you okay so sagittarius nothing's blocking you all right nothing is blocking you these things are coming okay so it's a long journey um knight of pentacles slowest moving knight okay um with the uh or some of you have been trying to figure out along your journey what you're passionate about with the ace of wands something that you're truly passionate about okay so some of you have just been working like you want to be the boss you're you're studying you're staying late you're staying behind work late you're um doing more than you the other, other people would in your workplace some of you guys are really working hard like stupid hours um but i don't know if this is something that you're passionate about maybe you've been working towards oh okay i get it so some of you guys are like at a job working saving yeah and you are watching how things are done and your that's your research is like you're watching how things are done in a certain environment that you are to take those skills and to work on your own uh, passions hobbies yeah your own path basically you're not sagittarius says you're not going to work for somebody forever you are meant to be a boss okay you guys are meant to be a boss you guys are meant to have your own business You're supposed to have your name somewhere yeah it's supposed to be, that's that's you guys that's you guys a lot of people see your potential sagittarius's and you may feel like you have people around you that hate on you um which is a sh which is a shame for them because you shouldn't hate on people you should encourage them uplift them just admire things within them that that you that they might lack and so they should really see that as like wow like Sagittarius is such an inspiration like I love how they do this I love their work ethic I work I love how they put themselves together I love how they just come through with things like and you realize or some some people are some people are definitely um they hate on you and Sagittarius you guys I know quite a lot of Sagittarius's um you guys are beautiful like another level beautiful and it could be that as well some people might be intimidated by not only your intellect not only by your work ethic but by your looks and that's an, I'm not saying be like mm, that's them that is not you Sagittarius okay so you block that I remind them that that is their energy not yours you know who you are you didn't ask to look how you look okay so if they feel that way that's something within them okay that is something within them that they need to uh look into yeah that's not your fault that some people feel insecure about about you being in, a, in an environment you might notice like some people are quite shady or yeah i'm definitely picking up on that justice so justice yeah it's like justice needs to be had in this situation and i feel like the justice will be you have in your own business you being the ceo no matter how long it takes you will get this you will get this type of life that you're supposed to get like it's it's something that you've been thinking about for years and there's been people that have held you back or not seen your potential or has seen your potential and purposely held you back yeah time to take the leap of faith guys there's definitely things that you're passionate about definitely things that you're passionate about and um don't i would just say literally just do your thing like if you feel like you're telling 
uh, people that you care about, people close to you about your passions and stuff like that, and they're not a, as passionate as you, that's okay. That's your passion, not theirs, okay? So they're going to have things that they love and they're interested in and they're working on, that's fine. But you, Sagittarius, I'm getting like uh, nine of pentacles for you guys. Like that's that single independent person that like, I'm very self-sufficient. I can do this. Like I'm, I'm, I, I can do a lot by myself. You guys are really... I'm really getting that energy with you guys. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys, something about your past has taught you to be patient. Something about your past has taught you to be kind. Something about your past is teaching you to give, give, to keep giving. There's you have a lot to give. Like it's crazy. Like you would have went through so much like it could be abuse, it could be like um, uh, financial poverty, you know, like losing a lot of things like people, homes, um, like friends just randomly like just leaving you and stuff like that. But something about your past is not, is making you appreciate not only things, but you as a person and realising that, wow, I'm, I'm a really magical being, like I'm, I'm really powerful, like I've gone through all these things and I'm still able to give. I'm still able to get up and go. I'm still able to live life. So enjoy it. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And, um, yeah, you guys. I, I always... I mean, one time I had, like, a reading that was, like, quite upsetting. The Sagittarius. But, what, but honestly, you guys, like, such... Um, you're such beautiful souls man and you guys is like you get tormented mentally with a lot of things and sometimes physically you know but like you guys i've noticed that things that happen in your life sagittarius you're tormented by it but you still come back stronger that shows how amazing you are how resilient you are yeah you'll look if you can come back from all those things you've gone through my god like you deserve like all the great things that are coming to you guys so like yeah keep keep going keep going guys okay so we're going with scorpios scorpios please like share subscribe guys if you haven't already if it resonates with you please comment all right so let's see what's blocking scorpios financially scorpios what's blocking scorpios financially thank you um somebody has okay let me take another card out just to confirm this but like already i feel like the six of swords okay guys so that's moving away to karma waters that is and also what i think about this swords i think of intellect i think of uh deciding things i think of um the, the mental side of things okay um your thoughts and stuff like that so somebody is either walked away like like literally mentally left something or they're not they're holding on to let's see let's see yeah let's see what's going on with you guys scorpios what's what's holding what's blocking scorpios financially okay quite a few cards come out guys all right so we have the eight of wands five of swords seven of cups page of pentacles ace of wands nine of pentacles seven of pentacles all right so hmm it's been a lot of communicate scorpios so i feel like too much uh, your mouth is blocking you financially your mind and that fire within you because it's funny you know like when i think of sagittarius is even though i is a fire sign i feel like it's more like a water sign because they're quite in tune they're very intuitive but at the same time, Scorpios, you guys remind me of a fire sign because you guys get very intense and it's like, ah, so at times, yeah? So I feel like you guys have literally, 
there's so much communication and it's like there's been fighting there's been there's been arguments uh about many different things um okay scorpios i'll be honest okay i feel like what's blocking you guys financially is that mouth of yours scorpios your mouth and i'll tell you let me go back even more your mind scorpios has been blocking you um those things all look guys scorpios all those things that you've been thinking of it's been blocking you and all those things that you're thinking of you're throwing them out into the universe and it's causing arguments i feel like you guys are thinking about the negative things all right all the things that hurt you the things that you that things that you can hurt other people with there's a lot of communication and there's a lot of it's not good because that's fighting okay that's that's being spiteful that's like saying nasty things all right and it's like it's going to cause a whole lot of a whole lot of problems and but guys is that mouth scorpio is that mouth it's your mind it's your mind and your mouth like that's blocking you because you're saying certain things and the universe is listening to everything they, they're feeling your vibrations so um you are blocking your own blessings by not letting go of things by um talking on the things that aren't positive or productive and it's causing arguments yeah it's like it's like a dwelling over the past okay so um with the seven of cups and the page of pentacles it's like you guys are a little bit unsure about what what you want to do okay you're unsure about what avenue you want to go down like what road you want to go down with the seven of cups like what will make you happy what you just need that one thing you need to be patient but i feel like that passion that it's like that passion um some of you some of you are definitely single and it, oh, i'm not getting good and i'm okay so it's like some of you are just blocked some of you have blocked a lot of things not only financially like in your um emote like in your relationships as well like someone's single here and they're almost like like this the seven of um pentacles seven of pentacles they're just like is this working you know are the things that i've put out there are they growing how is it manifesting right okay all right okay so um what can scorpios do to get more money You need to work as a team okay so we've got the three of pentacles okay so you should collab with somebody you should open up and allow somebody to work with you scorpios so don't do it alone like the sing night of um like this one the nine of pentacles okay because like in this instance i feel like you you're almost like it's like you don't want to work you don't want to be with anybody but spirit saying to you that you need to collab with somebody you need to be work as a team okay not against each other don't work against each other with the five of swords okay um you need to work literally just be on the same page as somebody yeah see the kind of things that you can do as a team when you work together and that will help that will help you financially and emotionally mentally okay you'll learn so many things okay yeah and you'll get you will get results there will be results okay there will be results you just have to believe in yourself and let go of those things that all that communication all that backstabbing that that um conflict those 
not so nice words not so nice ways of communicating I, I feel like as long as you do that you're going to keep manifesting really negative situations into your life Scorpio what can I say I mean you know allow people to work with you don't be so um you know in your own head or or so closed off emotionally that you're missing out on a lot of things okay guys like just enjoy life more be more present work with people accept help be helpful you know goes both ways so um yeah okay all right next so uh libras 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 let me shuffle these cards if you haven't guys please like share subscribe comment if it resonates with you i really appreciate all the support and the people that take time to like and all that stuff so yeah uh libras libras what's blocking libras financially now shuffle this a few more times what's blocking libras financially What's blocking Libras financially? What is blocking Libras financially? Thank you. Ooh. Okay, we've got the strength card. We have Ten of Cups. We have Six of Swords. We have King of Wands. So there is somebody feels strong. Somebody feels um, like emotional fulfillment. Yeah. And is like mentally. Okay. Mentally. Okay. So somebody feels like more calm within their the mental side of things, you guys are air signs, so that will make sense. King of Wands. You guys feel like very passionate. You have a lot of passion there, a lot of courage, a lot of heart. You guys like literally have everything within you. Okay. Um, hmm. Are Libras blocked at the moment? financially blocking the world so you have the world at your hands definitely is like i feel like you guys feel like you have everything right now like even if you actually don't you feel like so um fulfilled a lot of you guys feel very fulfilled you know you're seeing you're appreciating the things that you do have and the things that you don't have you know that you will get it in time in good time nice nice guys that's nice okay death rebirth so death and rebirth so yeah you guys have been reborn you guys like appreciating things so much more you, you that old side of you's died the other side where you you know would overthink or not decide and stuff like that you guys yeah like it's like i just said with scorpios like you, well that's a bit different but you guys literally transform and you're working as a team so it's like i feel like whatever you're doing like whatever you'll be doing you'll be um it's like a whole new energy it's a whole new energy that you guys have that you guys have got okay so some of you guys might be stepping into your north node okay so you're actually doing the things that you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime you're fulfilling those things you're honoring that contract okay guys lovely ace of pentacles the start of something stable the universe is gifting you. you you've learned the lessons you're teaching yeah you're working with the universe oh that's nice libras page of wands yeah you're very enthusiastic you're very excitable you're very like um optimistic okay and you um you know you, you're doing all these things like you're 
you're fulfilled in different areas of your life and you're, you're just having fun with it. You're really just being present. You're very present. Yeah, four of wands. So you could have a stable um, relationship or family um, uh, life and that gives you more of a um, reason to just be so appreciative. Libras, you guys are, um, wow, even watch your other reading. What was it the other day? couple days back watch that reading as well Libras like it correlates with this one it definitely um you guys are just calm okay yeah it's like there's an e equal give and take and you guys are uh well the scales so your balance you know it's like an e even give and take you know it's like if somebody's giving you something it's not even like you do something to get something back but regardless you're giving and you're still getting back because you're just calm everything's balanced everything is happen happening at a natural flow beautiful libras i mean i feel like you guys are just proper on it so um you that's a beautiful place to be like spiritually spiritually it's a beautiful place to be beautiful 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 so virgos let's do virgos see what's going on with virgos what's financially blocking virgos what is financially blocking virgos what is financially blocking virgos so i'm getting like overthinking i'm getting maybe too much resting yeah too like probably i feel <laughs> okay i just saw like the like i just saw the hermit and um pisces i'm like trust me i'm like in the dream world anyway that's why i'm able to do this shit because i see things that people don't always see so um i just saw the hermit and i saw him like literally you know he's got his lantern he's got his little hood up and he's got his lantern and he goes into his cave and then when he goes into his cave he does this that's the Virgo, okay? So you guys are literally just like analysing, resting. But I feel like it's too much rest, too much thinking. So you guys are overthinking, basically. So I'm getting just... Don't overthink it, just do it, okay? Don't overthink it, just do it. Because you can think yourself to the point of like talking yourself out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like that self-sabotage. Like you could be like, oh, but this, but that... But Mm -mm, mm -mm. we don't do that mm -mm. okay so some of you guys okay so i just got blessings in disguise with this so um there could be somebody that um you walked away from that could have blocked your like could, that could have been blocking your finances okay somebody that you were so focused on all right and all your energy was going towards them and now, because they're out of your life, and even though you might feel abandoned, rejected, like like it's a missed opportunity, like it was um, um, just, oh God, like this is almost like feeling sorry for yourself, okay? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Really and truly, yeah, your higher self, for the ones that have watched all the videos, your future self, yeah, is like, God, if you only knew how much of a blessing that was, like, trust me, if you only knew how much of a blessing that person leaving your life was because all your energy was going towards them, Virgo. Way too much energy. To, how are you going to have energy for yourself? No. See, you was heartbroken at some point, okay? This situation broke your heart. And sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of the time, when our heart's broken, it is like rebirth. I see this and then I think, okay, opportunity to learn. Let me let go. Let me, let me do things a different way, okay? So I really feel like that's what what's happening for you guys so it's been so what's been blocking you guys financially is your all the energy that you've had you put onto this person and you might not feel like be like actually communicating with them you can be just thinking about them like you can be just sitting there in bed thinking about this person yeah but that's all your energy like you're not putting your energy in in the right places okay so this needed to happen for your own good let that person go it's fine you deserve better yeah you come first all right 
if it comes to that, then at the end of the day, that person wasn't for you. So please see that as like wish fulfillment because you're able that will clear, yeah, that will clear that block for you. Just it's really important that you um use this as an opportunity to grow and to focus on yourself. Yeah, speak your speak your truth, speak up. Do those things that you say you're going to do. Don't just um, overthink about it, over talk, do it. Okay? Don't overthink. Don't, like, literally, um, say, like, um, I don't know, you're a personal trainer and you say, oh, I wonder if I should, like, you know, the COVID restrictions have been lifted. Like, I wonder if, if I should, like, create a group and have people, oh, but, oh, but, like, they might not turn up. Oh, but if only five people turn up, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, but sabotage, self-sabotage. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is blocking your blessings. That overthinking, that overthinking, yeah, that, that, oh, no, this person's left me. No. Look what they did. They, they, you, you felt heartbroken by whatever way. So it's a blessing in disguise. Okay, this person leaving your life. They were blocking your finances. Okay, there it goes. So, yeah. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, okay. So I just got told to move on from that one. But yeah, um, you guys see this heartbreak as a opportunity to spread your wings. Be that person that you've said you were going to become the things that you were going to do the things that you promised yourself and others do it so stick, stick to your plan stick to your word and um continue don't overthink things guys because it will hey i'm virgo i'm virgo rising yeah so i get it i've done it a lot like even this like starting this this channel uh, i i would have i was thinking oh but this oh i'm not used to be on camera oh but i, I stutter a lot oh i talk over my words I don't give a shit. There's big old news readers out there. There's people that that have um that do daily motivational speeches and all stuff like that, and they stutter. Okay, I'm not gonna allow things like that to stop me. So Virgo, the same thing, please. Okay, that's what's blocking you financially. Yeah, is is the overthinking and the procrastinating. You you need to just say, do you know what? Okay, I'm gonna give myself um five ten seconds to 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 decide something and then i'm going to stick with it okay and that's how you will feel fulfilled and that's how you get closer to your goals okay don't overthink it all right guys um because you guys wow like you don't know how you're going to change people's lives and and in, oh, not only heal heal yourself but heal others as well it's a beautiful thing okay so put the energy back into yourself and just use all the energy that you have now for good okay guys so we're going to be doing leos yeah leos leos okay so we've got the five of sword king of wands the emperor so i feel like leos for you the thing that's been financially blocking you is arguments with this fire sign because king of what well it could be you actually because the fire sign but it could be like some kind of conflict some kind of like power struggle um like it could be a younger and an older person like um difference of beliefs difference of um just what you expect out of life and stuff like that so i feel like for you leos somebody say like a parent okay as an example a parent has said do you know what um leo i they, they've been telling people this for years oh my leo child is going to be a doctor my leo child is going to be this that and you're like actually you're fighting that you're like no 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 no, that's not me that's that's not what i want to do i have I have so much creativity. I have so much passion for something else. That's you cannot tell me how to live my life. You cannot tell me. You can't. You're not the conductor of my life. What is this? Excuse me. No. Excuse me. You 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 live your life. Do not try to. I'm not a puppet. Respectfully. Do your thing and allow me to do mine. Yeah. You, you are not in control of me. That's how some of you guys are feeling right now somebody's trying to overpower you and it's like a power struggle okay it's definitely a power struggle going on guys okay so knight of cups king um knight of cups 
four of cups so it's like it's like this person feels like they're they're um doing the best thing by you but you, it's like it's making you say no like you literally with the four of uh cups you literally like i don't even want to accept that because you're making me feel like so isolated you're making me feel so like like i don't even want to um talk to you i don't want to open up to you emotionally i don't want I don't want anything from you. Leave me alone. Someone wants to be left alone. Someone wants to be left to do what they want to do. Leo, you're a fire sign. Like you guys are going to do what you want to do at the end of the day, right? You're going to do what makes you feel good and what makes you um, happy. So whoever this person is that feels like they can rule your life, you have to talk to them. You have to say, look, I'm at this age. I understand that you had a idea of um what do you want for me but that is you 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 live your life how you would like to live yours and allow me please like you are not in charge of me you want you do not own me i am my own person i'm here for a purpose okay yeah because you don't have a contract with your, with your parents you don't you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do leos and you know that you feel that and that's why you're so like resistant to this energy that's coming towards you because you feel like you're battling like you've got to fight your um just to be your own person is what i'm getting it's like like you've owned who you are and this person can't accept it but i feel like you just need to just do what you're doing and maybe not speak about it just do it yeah because like if if this person's trying to control you just do what you need to do in order to you know be in your own energy space and and just to be more calm just to know that their feelings are their feelings don't absorb it okay observe don't absorb and just be respectful but do things that make you happy okay guys because there's nothing worse than living for somebody else you really lose yourself that way when we live life for other people we really lose ourselves because that's not our purpose you're not supposed to do what our parents said we want to we, uh, we were supposed to do or the person you were supposed to be okay yeah so there's a there's a there's lessons that are being um learned here that are being taught okay <clears throat> wheel of fortune so things will change for you things are going to change for you <clears throat> i'm going to pick one more card for you guys one more card for leo please one more card for leo's One more card for Leo's. Okay, maybe that's it. Let me just pick one. Okay. So, yeah, you've got to decide. You can't keep juggling this life, okay, guys? You need to let this person know, yeah? All right? And if it hurts their feelings, it hurts their feelings. Because you not saying anything, you just conforming to their way of things, you're disrespecting yourself. And you're literally, that's like another way of selling your soul. Like, doing things that you don't want to do, that your, that your soul just doesn't resonate with, okay? Just be mindful. Be mindful and follow your own path, you know? Say, I don't know. Say, like, you... I don't know, you want to open up, a, a, like, a new shop. And it's, say, like, it's, I don't know, something a bit... Not taboo, but, like, say, like, a, something to do with cannabis oil and stuff like that, yeah? And you, you know, family like, oh, you're such an embarrassment to me. Oh, all this wee blah blah but you know that it's helping curing a lot of sick people and you know that with you might be making certain things that can help people leo and you know that it saved people's lives and improved their quality of life but your parents are saying no you're embarrassing me no 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 all you're not doing is is is, is being a person that they want to you're your own person if you know that that product that thing that you have is helping other people to live a better quality of life keep doing it leo Keep doing it be true to yourself all right that's all i'm gonna say be true to yourself all right so cancers cancer cancer Can Ooh. let me shuffle this a bit actually let me shuffle this oh what the hell just happened there that's a mess i just frigged it up it's fine kind of all right back on track 
right cancers what is blocking cancers financially what is blocking cancers financially cancer what's blocking cancers financially what's blocking cancers financially Gonna come up. Cancer. So it could be a case where there's too much partying, or not partying, maybe it's too much drinking, too much um celebrating things before you've even achieved them. You know, I mean I feel like a I'm getting like a premature um celebration. That's weird. Never got that. Anyways, yeah, a premature celebration. So um before things actually happen so it's like you might be like yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then it's like Woo! like um but you haven't actually done those things yet yeah you guys like what the hell happened to my card excuse me anyway sorry um yeah you guys are holding on to something i mean or you're not letting go yeah you're not letting go of something um hmm aha yeah there you go Tox uh, not letting go of things so um okay so i feel like you guys are definitely celebrating things that like, prematurely or you're um you're holding on to an idea of something um which is blocking you you're it could be a person um, it could be a fact where you're where you're just drinking too much with your friends and you might be a very attractive person and you like the the social life and it's becoming toxic or it's being toxic and it's something something that's definitely blocking you guys you guys definitely have like a um very uh uh what's the word um yeah addictive personality so then there's definitely some kind of addictions going on. I, I'm going to lie, like I did feel like somebody's a little bit delusional. Like, not to be rude, but I did get that word when I saw, when I had the three of cups. Because I was getting like, you're celebrating something way early and you haven't done it. Like you haven't done what you said you were going to do. Alright. Cancers. What's blocking cancers financially? okay yeah waiting for results um maybe rushing not doing things thoroughly you know not completing things just having passion but it kind of wearing out after a while justice okay so we've got the um three of swords so ooh, some of you guys are in a bit of a toxic relationship and they're kind of it's like the drink it's either drinking or smoking but the reason why i'm saying saying drinking is because i see the cup so i'm thinking of people going out celebrating things right um and then with the devil i feel like someone's definitely um stuck in this cycle, has been stuck in this cycle of um addictive um of addictions and addictive behavior um this, if there is heartbreak or you feel heartbroken and that's why you're drinking, I feel like you need to stop because that's what's making you delusional to things. You guys are definitely um, celebrating things way too early and it's like you find passion, like like you're passionate about something, but you rush, rush in and rush out and then you're waiting for results and then you're heartbroken. So you feel a little bit shitty. You feel a little bit shitty. So take your time. Um, you know, if it is some kind of substance abuse, please, you know, definitely speak, uh, see somebody about that. Talk to people, be open about it so that you can help heal yourself. Don't worry about being judged or whatever. Like, people are going to judge, people are going to say whatever, even if you're doing good things, okay? So um, let go of that and just, because um, it's all self-love. Like, going to see a therapist or a counsellor, that's self-love. Like, um healing yourself that's self-love taking time out not picking up that drink is self-love yeah yeah you need to work with somebody on this you need you do need a, um 
somebody who's going to help guide you and work with you. I would suggest um, if for those that do have addictions, that's getting out of hand and blocking you from doing things that you want to do, definitely speak to somebody because there will be a tower moment and it, it will get chaotic and just too much, okay? Yeah, you need strength, guys. You guys, it's like you want to be strong and the drink might help you feel strong, but only it's only, it's very... Uh, temporary it's a temporary thing one more card this one thank you yeah um okay that's funny i never really saw it like that so you see with all the cups yeah this is this is wish fulfillment right but i'm seeing all those cups and i'm just thinking of like empty um um alcohol bottles just like so you might collect you might be a person that collects like empty bottles like different you know they got like the hennessy ones or what alizé or whatever done Cavassier, whatever it is that you drink, it will be beer bottles. So some of you collect this in your room, let go of it. 